Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff. If you're a Christian entrepreneur like me, you know how important it is to build our businesses on the foundation of God's Word. That's why I wrote my new devotional, Navigating Entrepreneurship Through the Lens of Scripture, a 30-day journey for Christian entrepreneurs. And I wanted to let you know that it's now available on Amazon. And you can also check it out at navigatingbiblicalentrepreneurship.com forward slash devotional. Welcome to Business God's Way podcast. My name is Jeff Elder, and I'm an online business coach, Christian leader, and funnels expert. This show is where we help established Christian online coaches create more income, freedom, and impact while keeping God at the center of everything we do as entrepreneurs and leaders. Let's dive into today's episode. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Business God's Way. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. I was going to continue the series on the leader's priorities today, but in light of current events, I just wanted to hop on and just share some thoughts, kind of share where I'm at, just in a very honest and open format. And I want to spend some time at the end praying for the situation that's going on in, in Ukraine right now. But right now, I just want to share my heart. I, to be honest, there's a lot of emotions going on inside of me right now. A lot of emotions. I remember a couple of nights ago when the news broke about what was taking place in Ukraine and that Russia decided to invade the country. I was angry. I was sad. I just couldn't believe that this was happening, especially in a modern society that we live in right now. And that anger and that sadness, thankfully, I was able to redirect that to the Lord. But my heart just breaks for what's going on. And I know God's heart breaks as well over it. We see a country like Ukraine and we think, wow, now how could a country like Russia just walk, walk in like that and destroy innocent lives? Why? For, for, for pride? For land? It just, it doesn't make sense to me. And I'm not going to get political here. I don't want to get political because there are humans involved in this conflict. And as of today, we know that people are dying because of this conflict. And I, I don't want to get political on, on this because what we have here is an army, a much superior army coming in and taking over a weaker country. For power, that's what it's for. It's all about power. And I was just thinking the last couple of days and just praying, Lord, this doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why this is going on. I don't understand why innocent lives have to be lost. It just doesn't make sense to me. These are just people trying to live their ordinary lives, and now they're living in a war zone. And I just don't get it. But... As I've been praying about it and thinking through it and talking to some friends about it and just having some dialogue, I just was reminded that in spite of the situation going on right now, in spite of all the pain, all the anger, all the 
madness that God is in control. God is still in control. None of this was a surprise to God. It wasn't like God woke up and said, oh, that that just happened? Okay, let, let me figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> no, that's not what a sovereign God is all about. A sovereign God knows what's going to happen. He knew this was going to happen, and yet he, for some reason, in his own wisdom, he allowed it to happen. And not only did he allow it to happen, but there's a purpose in why it's happening. And we may not see that purpose. We may not understand that purpose. We may not know why. But I believe events like this, they are leading to the climax of this earth. They are leading us to the return of Christ. Now, I'm not saying that this event is end time stuff or that it's gonna it's a signal of Christ's return, but I think it's a piece of it. It is a big piece of it, and maybe it is. Maybe Christ will return tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> but in either case, these events are leading us to the return of Christ. The Bible even says in the last days there will be wars and rumors of wars. And all of this fits into the, the overall picture, the overall plan that God has. God will return. Christ will return for his church. He will return for us. And I don't know if it will be in our lifetime or not, But I needed to reframe my mindset. I needed to have a proper biblical perspective of what was going on. And yeah, I can still be angry and I can still be saddened by it because it is sad. It does make you mad. And we see Christ getting mad at things that weren't right either. When injustice was, was happening. But we have to keep our feelings in check. We have to take our feelings to the Lord. And we have to get his perspective on them. We have been through a lot as a country over the last couple of years. We're coming out of and in a lot of ways still in a pandemic. A lot of lives have been impacted because of that. We are now facing inflation like we've never seen in many years. Gas prices are up. It just there's madness all around us. And we are in the midst of all of it. And we are often, I know I am, asking the question, why? Why is this going on? What's going on here? But again, I have to take my why questions to the Lord. And I have to get proper perspective. This is all part of God's plan. God is in control. There is never a moment in time when God is not in control. And we have to have to, have to remember that. God is in control no matter what is going on around us. There is a purpose behind it and it will be used to further God's kingdom. And so the question that I was faced with in all of this is what is my part in this? What is my part in this? What can I be doing in all of this? And the answer that God gave me was, I can be a light in the darkness. 
I need to be better at this. I need to be better at being a light. I need to be better at keeping my priorities straight. The gospel is first and foremost. I need to be living and speaking the gospel in the lives of those who need to hear it, who don't know Jesus. And then I need to be more of an encourager to my fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord. I need to be reminding them, and this is why I'm reminding you, the listener, that God is in control. Things are going to be okay. They may not seem like it. They may seem like they're totally out of control. Things are totally out of control. But God's in control. So cling to him. Take and find refuge in him. Seek him. Love him. Obey him. And you be a light as well in the darkness. We need to be doing better at this, my friends. We don't know when the end is coming. We don't know. The time is short. And so I have to ask myself, what am I going to do with this time that I have? And I hope you're asking yourself the same questions. As kingdompreneurs, we have an, a unique opportunity to reach people. The clients that we serve, check in with them. Ask them how they're doing. How can you be praying for them? Because I'm sure they're going through a lot of the same emotions and feelings that you are. Be a light to your clients. Bring Jesus into their lives. Love them, serve them, listen to them. Figure out what you can do to help them. This is what kingdompreneurs should be doing, and this is the time to do it. So that, that's kind of what I wanted to share today with you guys. And, you know, there is hope there is hope and life goes on we have to go on we have to live life we have to make an impact we have to do the things that god called us to do even in the midst of all the the chaos that's going on go, going on around us but let us be different let us put on a hope that is contagious that people ask us, wow, how can you be so joyful and hopeful in a time like this? And then let us be bold and share why. It's because of Christ. It's because of Christ that we can go and live in a world that we're living in right now, full of joy and hope. So what I want to do right now is just, I want to spend some time praying want to pray us out father we love you so much lord we come before you and we lift up the crisis going on right now in the ukraine lord i pray for the people of ukraine i pray for the people of russia i pray for the leaders Lord, I pray for a peaceful resolution to this conflict. Lord, I pray that there will be an end very soon to the bloodshed that is happening right now. Lord, for those that are being displaced because of this war, for the lives that are being taken, and for the lives of those who have had lives taken from them, we lift all of them up to you. Lord, I pray for your comfort for those people. I pray that you would reveal yourself to them. 
Lord, call your people around the world to pray for this situation, to pray for the peace of Ukraine. Lord, let there be a peaceful resolution. And above all, help us to remember that you are in control, that nothing is taking place right now that you are not in control of or have control of. Lord, and we can rest in that. We can find hope and peace in that. So Lord, help us to do that. Lord, for our own country right now, Lord, we are divided there's a lot, of, a lot of hurt and a lot of pain going on right now. So many things. Lord, please heal our nation. Lord, I pray that you would send forth a revival like none other, not only to this country, but to countries around the globe. Call your church, Lord, to rise up and to be light in this dark world. Lord, and I know that that takes an individual step. Lord, me as an individual, as part of the body of Christ, I need to be taking those steps. I need to be a light in the darkness. I need to bring the gospel to those who need to hear it, and I need to encourage my brothers and sisters. So Lord, I pray that we would all have that same attitude, that you would fill us with your spirit, Lord, so that we can go forth boldly and make a difference in this broken, dark, sad world that we live in. But Lord, in spite of that, we can live victorious lives. We can live joyful lives and we can live lives full of hope because of you, Lord. So Lord, thank you so much for the privilege of prayer that we have this opportunity that you have opened the door to heaven so that we can come in and make our prayers known. And thank you for hearing us. We love you, Lord. We thank you. And we just give you the praise and all the glory in Christ's name. Amen. All right, my friends, that is it for today's episode. I'm praying for all of you guys. I love you guys. Please go out and make a difference. Make a difference. And always continue to do business God's way. This is why we do this. This is why we do business God's way, so that he can use our business to have impact and to make impact. So go and do that this week. Until next time, God bless you guys. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.